March is National Save Your Vision Month, and one of the national spokespersons for this event is local resident and Olympian Marla Runyon, and she's here with me today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, sure, thanks for having me. Oh, sure. This is a, a nifty little contraption that you brought with you, but um, let's uh, let's talk about um, National Save Your Vision Month. Obviously, uh, an issue that's of interest to you. What what's the goal of the of this month of this awareness? Campaign? I think it's about making people aware of low vision in general, low vision aids primarily, uh -huh. and just basically how to live um, a happy and successful lifestyle with low vision um, as it affects so many people in the United States. What's the difference between low vision and some definitions of blindness? Well, low vision is, first of all, for people who cannot have their vision corrected with glasses or contacts. Okay. They would have low vision. If you have a vision impairment but you put on glasses and you can see fine, then you don't really have low vision. Okay, <laughs> but okay. for many of us who have such a degeneration like macular degeneration or retinitis pigmentosa or a condition that cannot be corrected with lenses or glasses, and if your vision um, deteriorates to a point where you are it affects your everyday life and mm -hmm. you can't read print, for example, you, have you can't drive anymore or have difficulty even recognizing people five or ten feet away, mm -hmm. then you, you are someone with low vision and if it starts to interfere or change your lifestyle, then you definitely have low vision. Okay, so you might be interested in this product that you brought in and what is what do you call this thing? Well, should I go right. ahead and turn it on? Yeah. This sure. is a product made by a company called Enhanced Vision uh -huh. and this is a portable CCTV and CCTV oh, stands for closed circuit television and most people with low vision know what a CCTV is. Most of us don't but normally it is a very large contraption that sits on your desk. It doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. It has a camera with a, with a monitor and you put your reading material underneath. Um, this one however is very small and can be portable. It has a case and you can take it with you wherever you want to go and set, set it up somewhere. And for example, I have print over here. This is newspaper size print and that is sort of the beginning of the enlargement and as you turn this dial it gets larger and larger. Oh, wow. um, it also has a button that changes brightness and there it is actually brighter uh -huh. and contrast. So you can actually turn it to reading white on black. Right. Um, this particular device is called a flipper. And why is it called the flipper? Well because this camera right here actually rotates and moves. Huh. And you can actually, which is unique about this device, is see far away. So if I tilted the camera, we can actually see on the screen <laughs> the cameraman. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> right. So you can actually point this at your television set and watch TV on wow. another monitor if you wanted to. But even That's like, um, you know, when I was back in college and I was in college for what seemed like forever getting Struggling, a yeah. master's degree, we didn't have devices like this. And I would have been able to see video and see what the professor was writing on the board. Oh my gosh, even, um, it would have been such a great tool to have back then. And so it's so now available. Be before this, I, I've seen large magnifying glasses that you can put over books or that, right, that right. sort of thing. Is that kind of what the, what the, this yeah. is the next step. Well, this is the next generation. you know, usually if you have if you have low vision, you tend to have a, a variety of visual aids. My okay. other, I do have a handheld visual uh -huh. aid that I use. It has a little light in it. And I would use this like in the grocery store oh, yeah. or whatever to see something very quickly. Uh -huh. um, this, however, is more powerful. I can read smaller print. Um, for example, on a, on a medicine bottle or oh, yeah. um, recipe on the back of a box or something like mm -hmm. that, very small print. Um, they even have now, Enhanced Vision has made another low vision aid that is handheld, about six inches, called the Amigo. And you can take, imagine being able to make this even smaller and taking it with you to the grocery store. Wow. <laughs> um, could we put the phone number up on the screen real quick and then we'll get back to it? Um, it's one 888 a lot of ones there, but um, we'll put it up at the end of the um, interview, but we're running out of time, and I want sure. to show the video of Marla running in the Olympic, uh, where was it? Uh, the Olympic, uh, Olympic trials, trials of 2004, 2004. and uh, I, wanted to, I want you to address your running career. What's going on, Marla? Well, we have 30 seconds yes. left. Oh, 30 seconds, okay. Well, uh, quickly, um, I, I may, I've been on the Olympic team twice now in 2000 in Sydney and then again um, may, making the team in 2004 to go to Athens and this is the footage I believe from the 5,000 meters. Yeah, here you are um, pulling ahead, way out I ahead. pulled out ahead but unfortunately I got, I got out clipped at the finish line mm -hmm. um, but very excited to make the Olympic team and I'm going to give it one more shot so 2008. Excellent. We'll be following you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Okay, thank you.